Hey guys and welcome back to another more with Moro's video. Today's video is going to be a homeschool and virtual learning setup slash room tour slash how we are trying to navigate the kids doing schooling completely from home. Three kids, one in third grade, kindergarten and preschool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you also find it helpful too. So when we first made the decision that the kids were going to stay at home this school year and do virtual learning, homeschooling, preschooling, it's all a mixture of both or all three of those things. We're doing a mixture of everything. When we first made that decision, we knew that there were some things that we were definitely going to have to buy. We knew we would definitely have to buy another desk because Aria's already had her desk from last school year when quarantine first happened back in March, but we knew we would ha definitely would have to get one for Nolan and then also table and chairs for the playroom for more of like a preschool setup but we also desperately needed something that we can organize all of the kids things in and i actually came across this cabinet on amazon it was inexpensive had really good reviews and i'm so glad i got it because it ended up being the perfect like little space and organization area for all of their workbooks and school supplies so i'll definitely link this cabinet down below as well as anything else that I mentioned in this video, I will try to link as much as I can down below for you guys so you guys can check it out as well. Before we get into the rest of this video of this homeschooling tour room setup space because it's kind of like all over the place you'll see throughout this video i do want to say a huge thank you to babel for sponsoring today's video when we first decided that the kids were going to do virtual schooling we're doing like a mixture of both so homeschooling and virtual through the school district i definitely wanted because i noticed that there wasn't really any options for learning a second language when harlow and nolan went to preschool they did do a lot of spanish i noticed they're not really doing that much at the schools in the district and aria she the last time she really learned anything was also in preschool so i definitely wanted to get something set up for them i took three years of spanish in high school and then one year of latin so i know a little bit it's a little rusty so that's why we decided to go with babel and thought it would be the best fit for our family because not only can i have the app and download it on my phone and kind of clean up my spanish a little bit but also the kids can do it as well and then we were able to download the app on aria's ipad as well so she can learn it from her own space and desk and on her iPad as well. And the reason why we chose Babbel and it's better, different and unique to other apps is that with Babbel, you can count on people who have actual experience teaching languages. So what that means is that other apps use machine learning algorithms to teach your language. This is actually real people and the language is for real life. So it basically prepares you for situations you will actually encounter in real life. And you guys know Aria is eight years old. So she even had a very easy time navigating the app and was catching on really, really fast as she was going, which is awesome. So you actually get real proof and results when using Babbel. And we just chose Spanish for Aria. They actually gave us two options. So either you could choose Spanish for Latin America or Spain, but it's not just for Spanish. You guys can also pick other languages like German or French as well. So if you guys wanna check out Babbel, I will be leaving a link in the description. You guys can get 50% off for six months. And again, that link will be down below for you guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into the rest of the video with setting up all of the kids' desk and our like preschool area, it just, it's been a long time coming and it's been like a process making this transition and doing everything at home. But I still wanted to share it with you guys, show you guys how we have everything set up and organized. So if you guys remember back in March and April, it was very hard to find paper towels and toilet paper and it's still hard to find some things. Well, now the new thing is it's hard to find 
desk and table and chairs just because a lot of people are you know choosing the virtual online and learning and homeschooling option for their kids and i came across this issue because i was going to get the same desk that aria has in her room but it has been out of stock for the longest longest time i got really really lucky when i found this desk for nolan because i was literally stalking Amazon for about a week and a half, trying to find him a desk, looking at other websites, everything was out of stock or on back order. And one morning I decided to check and I actually had my eyes on this desk and like five or six of them became available. So I hurried and snagged it and literally like two minutes later they were all gone. So it's just crazy how fast desks are going out of stock right now and you know, everybody is of course on the hunt for them. So I'll try to link this again down below, but I don't know if it is still available, but it ended up being the perfect desk for Nolan and the perfect little setup for him. All right guys, so now after all the assembling, Frank put this cabinet together. You guys saw him do that. And then also Nolan's desk upstairs. It's now time to organize everything. I found these bins at Target, so I got the smaller bins, larger bins. I'm trying to decide how I'm gonna go about organizing everything. Probably like papers and workbooks are gonna go in the bigger ones, and like the smaller ones, maybe like flashcards and things like that will go in here. I think a couple of these will go in the kid's room, so maybe one in Aria's room and Nolan's room. I'm still like trying to figure this out as I go so you guys will see kind of what I decide as I go about organizing everything. We have all of their workbooks, we have flashcards, games, everything in this box, and then some of the stuff over here for Harlow. So we have some paint, some dot markers, scissors to help practice with cutting, and also this organizer as well. This is mainly gonna be for this room. I have some organizers and stuff that's gonna go in Nolan and Aria's room that I'll show you guys here in a minute, but we actually have a table that's gonna go right here. It's not too big of a table, just enough to sit the kids when they're not doing their like virtual learning and like their video chat with their teachers and they can do more work together. I'm sure many of you parents have noticed and realized that desk and table and chairs and all of that stuff has been sold out back order everything i actually had ordered a table and chair set never got shipped so i ended up having to get it refunded ordered a different set of chairs and table um, the chairs have shipped but the table hasn't so you guys probably won't see that in this video i'm just waiting to get notified when it's back in stock we are going to have a table right here but as you guys know aria and nolan do have desk in their room for more of their independent and quiet work and when they do have to be on a live chat i'll show you kind of what we're working with underneath our stairs because we have more things underneath there as well but we also got this cabinet for this room since we'll do a lot of work in here as well to help organize more of the stuff. I'm gonna try and organize this the best way that I can. There's also this cabinet underneath here that I think will put more of like the educational games. The only thing I'm worried about this is Scarlett getting into it, so we're gonna have to get some kind of like child lock or something to go right here so she can't get into it. But yeah, I am excited to start organizing. You guys know me, I love to organize. I love a good organizing challenge, so I'm gonna start pulling everything out and trying to figure out where everything's gonna go.
All right, so now Nolan's desk is all set up. I love it. I, I was actually thinking it was gonna be smaller, but this is the perfect size, perfect space right here in his room. So it has these dividers, which is gonna be perfect for organizing his schoolwork. I really don't have to do much in his room. I do have this little caddy right here that I'm gonna put some supplies in, like markers, crayons, pencils, probably some glue sticks and scissors. So this will go in his room. Then I just noticed too that there's a hole back here. So what I'll do is I'll probably bring his school iPad up here. That way we can keep his tablet and his charger in here. There's also these little sections right there. Hi, bud. What do you think? Do you like it? Are you gonna get some nice Come here. Stuff yes, me? come on. Stay right here. Let me see how you fit right here, okay? What do you think? It, it works better than Oreos. It works better than Oreos. <laughs> no. That's it looks, not nice. that's not. <laughs> you guys both have awesome desks. Okay, this one's just like the perfect size for you. And there's like a little cork board so we can get some like thumbtacks and we can uh, put some stuff up there if we need to. What do you think? Good. Good. I'm I... gonna put some other stuff in there. Mm-hmm. Well, what we can do right here is put your papers in here, extra papers and supplies in here. So you'll be all set and ready to go, bud. So I'll be completely honest with you guys. I don't think that this transition has been the easiest but it also hasn't been the hardest transition for the kids just because from March till June, they were doing e-learning and, you know, doing homeschooling. Of course, we had summer break, so kind of like jumping right back in. We, you know, we struggled a little bit, but it was kind of like we were already used to it, which honestly, it makes me so sad. I am just thankful that the kids do have each other because... Uh, I just feel for them not interacting with other kids you know of course they do the live chats and everything but it's just been it's been easy but it also has been hard at the same time so I think what has really helped is trying to keep them involved as much as possible so Nolan organizing all of his things and Aria picking out some of her school supplies really helped this situation a little bit better so I definitely recommend it I know I'm kind of doing this video a little bit late in the game you know it's September 2nd but um, they actually are giving the kids a couple weeks to get used to virtual learning and of course we're doing our own thing our own preschool with Harlow so technically they don't start school until next week so they kind of gave them two weeks to get used to everything but you guys will definitely let me know when you guys started virtual learning when did school start for you and regardless you know even though I'm doing this video a little bit later I do hope that you guys find it helpful All right, so right now we are trying to figure out the whole tablet and iPad organization and situation because we have a total of three iPads. This is a fire tablet and then the two school iPads and it was just getting to be too much with all the cords and everything. So we got this little adapter right here with multiple plugins and some of these cable clips and Frank is about to drill into our drill <laughs> drill into the cabinet that way we can run the cords through there and we'll have a cleaner a way bigger. of charging all the iPads what's that being I need a bigger hole yeah I try to make it small enough just for the chargers to be able to go through I think it needs to be just a tad bigger but these will help like keep them clipped in I'm thinking of clipping them onto this it's actually a file organizer or paper organizer I'm not sure but try to like stick these on here that way when we go to plug in the iPads the cords aren't constantly falling down that each one you can just take the cord because it's in here and then plug in the iPad All right, so I realized that we probably don't need the sticky things because it actually, I don't, I don't see it like falling back through because Frank made the hole pretty small. So everything is plugged in and we only put four right there because the kids don't use the iPads all day long and we can just like interchange the chargers. And that way they're charged and ready for the next day. Yes. And then during the day when the kids are doing their schoolwork, their the other iPads ones can, can be, be charged. charged. Yeah, so we didn't plug in all of this all six i still am going to use these to put onto the kids desk so when they are doing their schoolwork, and if it does need to be plugged in 
they um, can put the cord through here and it, they don't have to worry about it falling through or anything like that because it's been a constant issue before. So I will definitely link these down below. Or we could still use one of them for all of the wires. I use one on yeah. my dresser, right? All right, so here is Nolan's setup. Honestly, his setup is pretty minimum because on his school list, it was literally pencils, markers, colored pencils, paper, and also, of course, his school tablet. So I have this little caddy for him. You guys saw him put everything in here. His pencils, some glue sticks and scissors, if we need to do any crafts up here, uh, markers, crayons. I do need to bring some paper up here as well. But we have most of like the art stuff downstairs, but we can put like some paper and construction paper in here. Place to plug in his iPad. And then I found, let me show you guys, I found these like paper clip thumbtacks. Since this is a cork board, you can just stick them in there and then you have a little clothespin to hang up like maybe some pictures or papers. Like this is all his login information right there. So these definitely came in handy. And then you don't have to worry about taking them off because you can just pin whatever you need to on there. But this definitely ended up being the perfect spot for his desk and anytime he does need to do his independent work or if he does have to be on a live chat with like a virtual meeting with his teacher, he has a quiet place to come and do that. All right, so Aria wanted to do a little desk tour for you guys and show you how she has everything set up on our desk. I already showed you guys that we put these little organizers in here. What do we have in here, Aria? We have mechanical, mechanical pencils and we have some markers and an expo marker and glue stick and then also some hand sanitizer and then gum and um i have yeah earbuds and then in here we have some color colored pencils and some um pencils some regular pencils we have a notebook in here some paper and then she does have another pencil pouch in here and it has more like pencils and like colored pencils and then we also have a little uh, thing for my charger yeah Frank just put that in there that way mm -hmm. it doesn't slip down that's cool yeah. got the Alexa in here in case she needs to ask Alexa how to spell something that's come in handy for sure she has a little clock up here I need to get Nolan a clock like that too yeah. and a pencil sharpener all of her essential oils and rollers yeah. and then of course the diffuser no one has one as well but it's on his nightstand so we'll diffuse some oils that will help us focus and stay concentrated and that seems to really help having it on her desk as well all right so i know i've kind of already shown you guys everything that's in the basket but i got everything for the most part organized and the playroom for the most part is completely done for like a homeschool playroom kind of thing the only, only thing left that we are still waiting for, and you can probably <laughs> see it right now, is we definitely need a bigger table. I actually ordered a table, and I think I've mentioned previously that it's been so hard to get desk and tables. Things are on back order, out of stock. You know, everybody is, that's what everybody is buying right now. So for now, we just have this small table set. I'll try to leave a picture to show you guys exactly what I got. The chairs arrived, so we have four chairs, I believe. Yes, I ordered two, I need to double check, but I'm pretty sure I ordered four chairs. I think I did. Pregnancy brain has me so discombobulated. So until then, this is what we're working with. We also have, of course, our dining room table. The kids have their desk in their rooms upstairs. So, you know, at least we got some kind of system going. So here's an extra basket. I'm not sure uh, what's gonna go in here, but we have flashcards, miscellaneous things in there. We are probably gonna put all of the paper and stuff in these bigger baskets. We have like these um, clear, uh, what do you call these? There's a name for them, but you can put paper in them and the kids can use dry erase markers on those. I showed you guys how we're setting up all the tablets. This actually worked out really, really great. And all of the tablets will be able to fit there too and plug them in. You can already see from earlier, Harlow's grabbed hers. And then here's all of like the markers. You guys saw me organize this, glue sticks, the dot markers, um, scissors, crayons, paint. This is not even half of the stuff that we have. This is just for like easy access. So when we do have the table we can come over here get the things that we need so that you know at least harlow can do a lot of her preschool and nolan as well in here and then underneath here we still need to get a little child lock scarlet's been 
trying to get in here a lot. We have some construction paper. We're gonna put some games in here, but we have, I'll show you guys actually what we have underneath the stairs. Um, I put these little file organizers in here. I figured it'd be an easy way to organize like Nolan's workbooks, Harlow's workbooks, and then Aria's workbooks are gonna go in here. And then we have some dry erase. Uh, boards with erasers. So got some more space for some other things in here, but that's the main, I guess, virtual learning slash homeschool slash preschool stuff all in this cabinet. Let me go ahead and show you guys what we have underneath the stairs as well. I don't know if we've shown this on this channel yet, but we have this huge, huge cubicle in here. Actually, let me go over on this side. This is where we keep all the games, puzzles for the kids, movies and then I have some extra art supplies paint stuff glue sticks we have some extra paint right here we do have some kinetic sand more art stuff like I told you guys we have plenty plenty of art stuff more play-doh stuff workbooks and paper and coloring books and there and then we have more markers crayons paint stuff all right guys, so that is going to be it for this homeschooling and virtual learning setup and organization. I really, really hope that this gave you guys some ideas and some helpful tips on making it an easier transition for your kids and gave you some ideas on, again, organization and different things that you can get for the, your kids. Let me know in the comments down below. And also if you have any tips or any products or games or really anything school related that you think would be helpful for us or that you realized is really helpful for you, definitely leave that in the comments down below as well. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want to see more content like this. We love you guys and we will see you in our next one.